What ho, Pip Pip chucks away. It's Bristly Strange and Normio here, and we're going to take to the skies with Bomber Crew. We're not going to play any of the DLC. I've only got Skin Pack 1 installed, which I think I got free because I bought the game early. And you know what? We're going to do the training missions, but we're going to skip ahead of that because they're a bit slow and there's not a lot going on. But if we do the training missions, we get to select our crew a bit more efficiently than just starting with seven crewmen from the off. So let's jump into a new campaign. Right, welcome to REF Woodbridge. Here we are on the overview screen, and this shows just an aerial view of our base. It shows all the different sections, like the recruitment centre and the barracks, the hangar where we can adjust our aeroplane, and the briefing room where we can choose our missions. Now, it also tells us that we've flown a mission, and we've shot down some fighters, and flown 447 miles. That was just the training mission. But... The reason we skipped ahead and we didn't skip it all together was we can go to the recruitment center and recruit our last three guys. So the reason we want to choose our crew rather than just start with a random seven, we can actually have a choice of three and look at their stats. Now Sheila here hasn't got any improvements. She's just a standard mechanic. It also tells you her age, she was a baker from Crowland. But I think if we look at the others, like Harold Duckty, now he starts with armour, increased speed, he can resist the temperature, and he's got survival skills. Well, I'm not surprised, he's a survival expert from Tunbridge. Well, we're going to have a look at Thompson here, but I think Harold is definitely going to be on our crew, because these are amazing stats. Yeah. Marion Thompson, an electrician from Chipping Norton. I'm sorry. We're not being sexist. It's just Harold here has got the most amazing stats I've seen. Normally, these are all zero, and they don't add much to the game, but having anything here is much better, and especially increased speed for the mechanic, as we'll find out later. So let's go ahead and choose this guy. Okay, so the choice of three are the gunners. So we'll look at the gunners before the bomber because we get a choice of three bombers once the gunner has disappeared. Let's look at Birchie first. Okay, Birchie is really fast. Now, Andrew, he hasn't got anything else going on, so we will look at the others. It was a tennis coach. Okay! Uh, they do choose these, but then in the Second World War they recruited a lot of people that weren't trained soldiers. Okay. Calvin Wood has got a bit of armour. Hmm. Now that is pretty good. A mechanic from Brentwood. Well, if he was a mechanic, why isn't he a mechanic now? Maybe he's just a better gunner. Okay, Simpson. Beryl Simpson. She is a bit faster, but has got nothing else. Now the gunners don't tend to move around much, so I think Calvin Wood's armour is going to be the best option. Now, I'm probably going to regret that when our gunners have to go and rescue some of the other crew, but yep, yeah, Kelvin is the choice for now. Okay, who else have we got? Right, so let's have a look at who we want as a bomber. Okay, McLeod, Daniel McLeod. Uh, he's got a little bit of survival skills, but nothing else going on. He's a physics student. Maybe that'll help him work out how to drop the bombs in the right place. And we've got Francis Rogers. Now, she's not really got any bonuses. Horse Brass Collector. Hmm. Okay. And we've got Irvin Jameson. Now, he actually got a negative to his speed before he even starts, and no other bonuses. So, sorry Irvin, there's no way you're going to be on our crew. You're going to have to remain unemployed. Hmm. Now, Daniel's slightly better with his one survival. So, I think... We are going to choose him. Yeah, Francis didn't have any bonuses, so yeah, we're going to stick with Daniel. So that has filled up our crew. Let's go to our crew gear and get our new guys their uniforms. Okay, so here we are on the crew screen. We haven't got a lot of choices at the minute, so I'm just going to jump ahead and we're going to equip our guys exactly the same as the others, because I think that's the only options we've got. 
So everybody's dressed in their uniforms now. I've just gone for the basic set. Uh, we had got a few more options of Christmas jumpers, which are slightly better than these blue overalls. But I think for now, we're going to just keep everyone in their uniform. Now, ordinarily, our mechanic would not be wearing a flak jacket. Now, that's just a personal choice for me because it slows them down. But Doherty, our uh, mechanic here, is actually faster than normal mechanics. So even though he's wearing armor and it slowed him down, he's still over 100% movement, which is really good. Now, we're going to go straight to the aircraft now and choose what we're going to have our plane looking like. This is the aircraft screen. This is where we can upgrade our plane, or we can change the color, we can change the name, and that's what we're gonna do right now. So I think we're gonna change our name to the Bristly Bomber. Confirm. Do you know what? We can actually change the paint job as well. So let's go in here. Uh, we can change it to all different things. I think most of these I unlocked from that DLC that I got for free. Do you know what? Nothing says bristly to me than a cat. <laughs> I know cats aren't overly bristly, but I think that looks pretty good. And for now, we're going to just install that and then move on to the briefing room. In the briefing room, we can select missions. Normally, there are a choice. We've only got one because we're still technically in the tutorial here. This is how to do a bombing run. So let's see if we can cope with it. Begin mission. So we've got a dummy target, our navigator's going to plan the route. The first thing we need to do though is start our engines. Here we go. There's the first navigation point. Not even off, but we can actually select this before we start. There we go. So what we're going to do, I think we're just going to speed through some of this and raise our landing gear. So one thing we do need to do with our bombing run, we have to put our front gunner onto the bombs. Do not forget to open the bomb doors. It's telling us to select all the bombs. Now I think this is a little bit of overkill. You can just select one at a time, but we'll just go for all for now. Here's our target coming up, and we have to keep an eye on this section here. And when the target gets into the middle, we're going to release our bombs. So, any minute now. Here we go. Yep, release. So we're going to close the doors. We've not got any bombs left. I don't think we need them open for anything else. We've got another navigation point. There we go. Okay, so we've been ordered to come over here and take reconnaissance pictures. Now we do this in a very similar way to bombing, but we've been warned there may be fighters as well. So hopefully we can get our picture and then head back to base before we take too much damage. So there's our target. Uh, where are we? Take photo. I'm going to wait for it to get in range though. Yep, there we go. Brilliant. So, we're going to jump in, we're going to put our bomber back on the gun, just in case. We have got a new navigation point. There it is. There we go. Adjusting heading. We're going to spin it round. We're just going to head back to base. Right, just as we're coming back over the old bombing target, something has broken on the ship. Now it looks like it's the hydraulics. We can't put the landing gear down without them. So we're going to go straight ahead, get our mechanic to go over there and fix them. We've got another navigation point, and we can select that while we're being fixed. There we go. We're just going to speed through to a nice safe landing and hope for the best.
Okay, mission results. Here we are. This just shows us what money we've earned for doing our missions. Also, if we've got any unlock points. Of course, we're still on a tutorial mission, so we've not really got much. But we did get this bonus for not using slow time. As you saw in the title of the video, we are going to try not to use slow time at all. So on crew status, it shows that we've all returned safe. No one's been lost or captured or anything. We've earned a little bit of XP. We're going to unlock some skills later on. We're only going to come back to this screen when we unlock skills, I think. So we're going to skip ahead back to the base. Now we've earned some money in the tutorial mission, we can upgrade our plane. So we're going to go to Ventricle Turret. We haven't got one at the minute, and we're going to add one. Now this does give us a few more options. We can stick our mechanic in here for a bit more damage output, or we can just swap our gunners round for a better position to shoot down the enemy fighters. There's not a lot of other things going on, so we're going to go and have another mission in the briefings. So now we've finished the tutorial, we've got a choice of three different missions. We're going to choose the middle one for now. Now this one has got a bonus that if we succeed, the enemy damage goes down for the next two missions. So not only do we get a bit more cash and some unlock points, but also it's going to make all missions after this slightly easier, because the enemy are going to do less damage to us. So we're going to begin this mission. Right, so start your engines. We're getting ready to take off. We're going to get to our navigation point straight away. We're not going to forget to raise the landing gear as soon as we're in the air. There we go. We're going to speed ahead to get to our targets. We've got two ammo dumps to destroy. Okay, so we're now approaching the first target. We're going to come in here. Now we're going to go straight ahead and put... Oh, we're not going to put our pilot there. Whoops. <laughs> we're going to put our bomber in position. We're going to not forget to open the doors. We're going to activate this bomb. Here's some flak positions coming up. We've got some enemy fighters coming in. I think it's all going to be a bit hectic, but we've got to concentrate on this bombing run. Here we go, and bombs away! So, we've got a photo opportunity over here. We're going to go and try and do that. And we're going to also try and tag these fighters. There they are. Yeah, we got them. Okay, and here's the photo. We're still coming up for it. You know what, I might even send Doherty down to man the gun. Uh, where's our bomb up? Here we go. Coming over our target now. Yep. And we take the photo. There is another photo opportunity. I think we're going to be cheeky and try and get that one as well. We've still got to destroy the other ammo dump. And there are more fighters coming in. I can't see them. Up in the sky. There they go. One, two, three. Yep. Oh, and we're almost over. So, ready to take the photo. Bam. Done. So, let's get back and get to our proper targets before we get too shot up. We are turning over these flag positions, which probably isn't the cleverest idea. Cloud has been slightly injured. I think we are shooting down the enemy fighters as well. Ammo is running low. Who said that? It was Wood. So Wood can quickly go and get some more ammo. Oh, we're coming in. Uh, yeah. Donaldson, you're not shooting. You go and reload as well. So where is... It's supposed to be bombing. Yeah, okay. Here we go. On bombing run. Really, we could do with the cloud being on the guns, especially seeing as we've got more fighters. But, let's see them nice and early. There they are. Yeah, one, two, three. Oh, there's even more fighters. How close are we to the target? Oh, 
we're pretty close. We're gonna just go to our bomber and try to get our bombs on the target. There we go, we're coming right over now. Lots of flak, we've got some holes in the plane. But bombs away, close the doors. Someone's out of ammo. Wood, reload. McLeod, get on the gun. There we go. Now uh, we can fly away over here. I think we've got a few more enemy fighters to tag. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, I can't see them. Some more chasing us. There they are. I think they are backing off now though. We'll tag them just in case. One of our gun turrets is low. Oh, we've got more enemy fighters up close. There's one. There's another one. And another one. And we better jump into the plane. Oh, we've got an engine on fire. Oh, no. Well, we can't do much about that. Yes, especially now it has dropped off. So we are heading towards our target, but we are going to go ahead and select this navigation point. I think we're out of the woods now. So we are going to fast forward back to base and hope we can make it on the fuel we've got. So just to double check the fuel, we're going to send Doherty back to his station and hope that we're doing okay. So half fuel remaining, we're nearly back to the base. We've got nothing to worry about. Mustn't forget to put our landing gear down. Right, so we got lots of bonuses, we earned lots of money, we took lots of extra photos and got unlock points, and more importantly, enemy damage is down for the next two missions. So because we shot down so many enemy fighters, everybody earned quite a lot of experience. Our gunners have both got focus, this allows them to do extra damage to enemy fighters, but of course it uses more ammo, so we have to be ready to reload a lot quicker. Our radio operator can radio for recon, and this allows us to tell where things are ahead of time. Our mechanic has got two new skills, boost, which allows us to go faster but uses more fuel, and really importantly, lean. Now this uses less fuel, it does slow us down slightly, but it increases the amount of fuel we have, or, more importantly, the duration we can stay in the air. So on those long flights where nothing's really happening, we can activate lean and save fuel. And Kathleen, our pilot, has earned emergency dive. Now in that mission, one of our engines caught fire, and there wasn't much we could do about it. Now you can upgrade with fire extinguishers and things like that, but emergency dive allows our pilot to go to a really high altitude and then dive straight down, and the pressure going through the air sometimes puts the fire out. That is a really useful skill. Wow, so we've unlocked lots of new things. We'll go in and have a look at that when we get back to base. Down at the bottom of the screen, it shows little orange blobs to show us where our new upgrades are. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna select the different things and choose if we need any new gear. Okay, we unlocked a ton of new options. Some of them we've added, some of them we haven't. So everybody is now wearing a nice woolly pair of gloves. And this obviously helps them cope with the cold a bit more. Nearly everybody has got a pair of boots, which adds a few little stats to nearly everything. Our mechanic hasn't got any because it slows him down. And we've gone for some different uniforms. Our flight crew is still in the blue. Our mechanic's in black and our gunners are all in green. This doesn't change anything, but it helps me identify on the fly who is who. And our pilot has got an oxygen mask. This will help her breathe at high altitudes, which we might have to go to if we're going to do an emergency dive. Obviously, we don't want to stay at high altitudes because it will affect the rest of the crew. But we're going to go into training now and see what options we've got in there. So only our bombardier, McLeod, has earned an upgrade. At level 3 he can choose a secondary skill. Now he's got a choice of first aid or engineer but he is a gunner for most of the time so we're gonna have the gunner skill. So on our plane we've unlocked lots of different things. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the different options and then I'm gonna come back when we've chosen what we're having. And we're back, and straight away you can see we've added some more art. We've got a big BS for Bruce Lee Stranger on the side of our crate. We've got some more on the wings. 
We've got some flames on the engines. Hopefully that's the only flames we're going to see now. We have upgraded our gun, but only the upper gun. Very expensive, it adds weight, but more importantly it adds damage per second. This gun is closest to the reload point, so this is the reason I've chose it. Now we haven't got a lot of money left, but I thought the best option was this guy here. He's our pigeon. Now he ups our survivability on land and sea for the entire crew, but more importantly, he's our mascot. So this has been the Bristly Stranger Normio. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hello, I'm Jeff the Pigeon. If you enjoyed the video, please drop us a like, and don't forget to subscribe for updates on new videos.